Sarah. Today is March 9th, 2016, and it is day E. Uh, Grace, I have to tell you about the most horrible thing that happened to me. Emma, on any other day, I would love to listen to you, but today I have to just say get over it. Um, that was kind of rude. Grace, <laughs> why would you say that? I'm sorry, Emma. I only said it because today's National Get Over It Day. That's a weird holiday, but I guess I'll have to honor it and forget the whole thing happened. Sounds good. Now for news. Have you ever been to France? No, but my parents have been, and I really want to go. Me too. You want to know something really cool about France? I mean, besides almost everything. <laughs> sure. It has recently become the first country to pass a law requiring supermarkets to donate food that's approaching its expiration date, instead of throwing it away. That's so cool. Is there anything else that has been passed along with this? Yes, actually. They've also banned stores to pour bleach or water over nearly expired food or to store it in warehouses until garbage trucks can come to pick it up. That sounds like a good idea, but I didn't even know that some stores do that. I didn't either, but apparently they do it to prevent the hungry from foraging through trash cans for their food and to prevent food poisoning. Wow, those are some extreme measures taken by the stores. I don't know if I necessarily agree with them. Me neither. I think it's great France is doing this. In other news, have you ever been to a baseball game? Yes, I have. It's really fun, and I love it when the people in the stands get to catch the baseballs. Have you ever seen someone catch a bat? Um, no, that doesn't make much sense to me. Well, eight-year-old Landon Cunningham was miraculously, was miraculously saved from injury when his father had a Pirate Braves game over the weekend. That sounds really interesting. What happened? During a spring training game, one of the players lost control of his bat, sending it flying towards the stands. How did the kid not get hit? Luckily, his dad put his arm out so the bat wouldn't hit his son. Wow, wouldn't that hurt his arm, though? I'm sure it did. Here's a picture from the event. Wow, that was a close one. That would have been, like, really, really bad if the kid had gotten hit with the bat. I can guarantee that would have at least left a bruise. Now for weather. Hey, Nazareth. I'm here with your weather. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 76 degrees and a low of 53 degrees and tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Let's check out the sports. Good morning, Azra. Tonight in NCAA basketball, the Lehigh's men's basketball team will not play in the Patriot, wait, will play in the Patriot League Finals for a chance to go to the NCAA Tournament. This season, Lehigh has a record of 16-14 and 14 and is favored to win the game. This would be the sixth time Lehigh would make an NCAA Tournament. Last time they made it, I don't want to talk about. If you want to know what happened, ask somebody else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't reading. Really. <laughs> the game starts, uh, this is for the Duke game, the game starts at 7.30 and is on CBS Sports. In the NBA, the Toronto Raptors beat the Brooklyn ne ne Nets 104-99. DeMar DeRozan of the Raptors scored 25 points. Also, the Denver Nuggets beat the New York Knicks 104-94. 110-94. Whatever. Kenneth Breed scored 24 <laughs> points. In the NHL, the New York Rangers beat the Buffalo Sabres 4-2. Also, the Boston Bruins won in overtime against the Tampa Bay Lightning 1-0. That's all we have for today. Now for lunch. Wow. <laughs> Morning, Nazareth. I'm back with your lunch. Today's lunch will be macaroni and cheese, slice of whole wheat bread, steamed broccoli, assorted fresh or canned fruit, and a choice of milk. Now for feature. Remember a while ago when we watched a video of amazing gymnasts? Yes, they were so good. I know, and I actually found another video like it of these crazy gymnasts from Ukraine. Okay, let's check it out. The French. 
target at the moment. Great drama at the start. All the gestures matching the music. Double layered, such light. Performance and execution with it very, very accurate. And the third in the 2009 World Games. Got two silvers as well at European level. Look at the line through that pyramid. And look at the flexibility. to be done without hesitation. There's the planche on straight arms, very difficult to do. Good counterbalance. Another planche. They were so flexible. I know. I could never balance like that way up in the air just on someone's hands. Same here. Those were probably the few of the best gymnasts I've ever seen. Me too. Now for a special announcement. Nazareth, I'm Lindsay. I'm Abby. And I'm Sammy. And we're here to talk about the spring baskets that we are putting together for NGHS. We would like each homeroom to bring in as many basket supplies as they can. The supply lists are hung up in each homeroom, and the last day to bring them in is March 16th. We will be donating the baskets to children at St. Luke's Hospital. We are currently running low on baskets <laughs> and candy, so if you could bring those in, that would be great. Remember, whichever homeroom brings in the most supplies gets a donut party. The homeroom that oh sorry, go ahead. The homeroom that is currently in the lead is Mrs. Bastidas' class, with Mrs. Gambler's class close in second place. So just remember to keep on bringing in basket supplies. Now for announcements. Orchestra students, there will be a rehearsal on Thursday after school from 2.20 to 2.30 p.m. Um, and the, also the second Hershey trip payment is due by Monday. Um, middle school students, March is music. Okay, March is music in our schools month. Check out the jazz bulletin board in the music wing. Check your knowledge with our highlights and trivia. Enjoy listening to some jazz music through the music listening QR code. Trivia and listening guides will change weekly throughout the month. At the end of the month, take a chance to win a Rita's gift card by completing all of the trivia questions and turning them into Mrs. Mills or Mrs. Sable. Craft Club will be meeting after school this Thursday until 3.15. We will be gearing up for warmer weather <coughs> and making a spring wreath. There's no cost. Just sign up in the media center. March Madness is almost here, and many people are wondering where their favorite teams will be seated in this year's big dance. Duke, North Carolina, Kansas, Villanova, and Wichita State. But did you ever think about how a book like The Maze Runner would stack up one-on-one -on -one against The Hunger Games? Would a classic novel like Frankenstein have a chance against a more current book like Die of a Wimpy Kid? Get ready for the battle of the books. Your homeroom teachers will be distributing brackets for this tournament of literature, and all you need to do is fill it out based on which books you think have been checked out the most